size of that O-ring, my goodness. Well, well, Mr. Horvath, what was the hardest part of this build? Mr. Horvath? Well, for your students, you know. Dad, what was the hardest part of this build? The hardest part of the build, six months, was, uh, I'd say the trickiest part was the, the fins. So it's actually sewn into the body tube with Kevlar. I must ask, with all this tension building up as we're getting closer to launching, how are you feeling for this launch? Right now my focus is just getting it all prepped up again, and I've done this so many times. That's what I'm focused on doing right now, but I would say all in all my feeling is just, it's finally here it's been a six month process. And I can finally watch it fly. Now, can you kind of explain what you're doing here with this Kevlar protector? Yes, I think I can. This is a fireproof bag. Um, it's made by uh, Rocketman, and I really like the flame shields from Rocketman because it does a real good job at being flame resistant, so it protects the parachute from that fire, and I really like this because it's lightweight, it's thin, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. And with this build, I had to be so precise about the construction of this, I had no room for anything bulky. So everything had to be concise, right down to having a winder to wind up the Kevlar shock cord. So I've got a four foot parachute plus 29 feet of shock cord all going in this nose cone. And that is crazy. Crazy good. So this is going to protect the parachute and it's going to also keep the parachute lines organized so the parachute lines don't get tangled up during launch. And then I have another one that will also go in to protect, so I've got twice the protection. This is going to go in the diameter of the nose cone, so these, Kevlar is fireproof, it will also protect that parachute. So I've got three different layers of protection to protect the parachute from any issues. So what is your approximated altitude with this build? Well, the engine is an I-600, puts out about 180 pounds of thrust. It should take this rocket Rocket almost weighs nine pounds. I'm expecting it to be about a 4,000 foot launch. 
but with this camera mounted on the nose cone, it's going to add the aerodynamic drag to it. It'll be just above 3,000 feet. Can you explain what you're doing here? Yeah, I'm loading my deployment charges. So, in other words, <clears throat> these two pieces here are wired in to the um, altimeters. And the altimeter, when it reaches a certain altitude, will send an electrical charge to detonate these black powder charges. When these things go off, I don't want flames hitting the electronics and burning those. So I'm going to tape all of that off and completely seal this area from the rest of so it, this way I can isolate the electronics and the wiring from the explosion. Can you describe what you're doing here? Same thing that I was doing with the other one. I am loading the charge I have it wired and now I'm putting it into the housing or the charge well just to hold it in place. Yeah, yeah. That charge well came from the Smith & Wesson 500. Taping it in so that it doesn't go anywhere. assembly. GPS is turned on. I've got a light blinking. Slide this in. Match up the marks. Check to make sure that I have access and I do. <laughs> Connect. <laughs> Connect the wiring on this end. up the holes for this. Electrical connections are good. Turn GPS transmitter on. Sled inserted so switches are accessible. Make sure the switches can be turned. Nose cone side of avionics bay taped. Send it up high in the sky. <laughs> well, I have. I'm some... real nervous about it. We're excited. I'm ready. I'm ready to see it happen. It's been a long time. A lot of work. Gotcha. All right. Closing in. Getting in on that tent. Yeah, and 16-inch uh, clock. We're, we're giving you a premium. Looks like dual deploy. <laughs> this is a level one certification. Now we're going to do something a little differently here. Cat is armed. Going in five, four, three, two, one.
Quex? You're right on the other side of the fence. Very nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. Longer it is, the better. Six, fifty, nine, three times the length. Oh, right in there, Margo. God, that's beautiful. Nice. Is that one of those huge uh, parachutes? No, that was uh, oh, five, 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a nice shoot. I just, I just got the wrong, because it was ah! ten. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes! Oh, I am winded, my mouth is dry. That was a fantastic launch. GPS worked great. Featherweight talked to me. And right now it's telling me exactly where it's at. So I'm following the arrow. All right, the most important question, is there damage? Fins are solid. It's all in one piece, good. Shot cord unrolled. The drogue parachute opened. It was protected, avionics both charges detonated, yep. Main parachute is undamaged, beautiful, following it back up to the nose cone. The nose cone, a little bit of a scratch. Nope, that came right off. And it is still recording. Hey, buddy. All right. Turn that off. Okay. All right. Where's my hug? Rocket girl. Can't be seen out. Um, if you could, good catch, John. Go, go online on the on the new website. Mm -hmm. Find out they, they should have one of these. It says certifications at tripoli.org. Okay. An email. Scan this. Okay. Send a scan copy to that email. Certifications at tripoli.org. Okay. And then say I just passed my level one. Here's the paperwork. And they'll, they'll send you the card within okay. about uh, a couple weeks. Okay. All right. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I love you too. I love it too. We make what? What are you doing? We're signing off. Signing off? Yeah, outro. Outro? Right. Yeah, outro for your video. What's an outro? Oh my gosh. Is that like an indie and an outro? Huh. All right, anyway, what are we doing? I don't know. We're signing off. Signing off? Yeah. I need my pen. All right, we're starting off. Bye. <laughs> Successful day. Level one certification in the mail. Woo. Bye.